Hey everybody, Zach Wolf here with another great Top 5 Tuesday. This week on Top 5 Tuesday is my Top 5 Non-Obvious Tips for Trial Practice. I literally just finished up three days of trial in Harris County. You can probably tell, or some of you can tell, I'm in downtown Houston. Anyway, so just while these things are on my mind, and I'm going to try to limit it to things that are not obvious. Number five, pack your lunch. You know, a lot of times uh, in trial, you know, you, you usually get a lunch break and usually, you know, there's some place to eat in the courthouse or there may be some place to eat near the courthouse, but it's really convenient if you can just either in the courtroom if they'll let you or right outside the courtroom uh, just eat something right there it'll take you 10 minutes maybe maybe 15 and then you've got the rest of all that lunch hour to do whatever you need to do to get get ready for the afternoon my number four non-obvious tip for trial practice is you don't have to use PowerPoint for your opening statement it seems like everybody has to use PowerPoint now for their opening statement. I didn't, and it went just fine. My number three non-obvious tip. Now, this one may be a little controversial, but you don't even necessarily need to have anything written for your opening statement. Now, if having something written down helps you, then by all means do that but I did my opening statement in this trial just from what I knew about the case I didn't need anything written down and, and that kind of forced me to keep it simple my number two non-obvious tip for trial practice well maybe this one is obvious but if it's obvious people still do it a lot and that is don't quibble and this goes for lawyers and witnesses you know lawyers don't quibble with objections over little stuff that doesn't matter that just dilutes the strength of your important objections and witnesses same thing especially on cross-examination don't quibble over little things especially defining words don't ask the lawyer who just asked you a question to say well, what do you mean by an, some common word? Don't quibble like that. And finally, my number one non-obvious trial tip is to prioritize getting enough sleep. Now, some of you are gonna say, oh, that's just impossible. There's just no way you're gonna get enough sleep. I disagree. Now, it is hard if you're on a large trial team and you're meeting every night after the trial. I mean, honestly, that's a pain in the ass, I mean, just between us. But, and, you know, and I have a solo practice, so it's a little easier for me. I don't have a trial team. So, you know, I don't have to do those meetings, but getting enough sleep, getting enough sleep is gonna do a lot more to help you be effective than, you know, spending hours and hours rehashing what's happened in the case.